Happy New Year! Happy 2023, Aquarius. This is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of January 2023, and it's going to be an absolutely fabulous month for you. And one of the reasons is, is that it is your birthday month. Yes, the sun will be moving in your sun sign on the 20th, and that alerts the beginning of the season of Aquarius. And I have four decks of tarot cards here and i am going to get a message from each everyone each and every one of these oracles to give you some sort of guidance and direction in terms of what is coming your way for the year of 2023 so let me just tell you right off venus the planet of love and attraction and magnetism is going to be entering your sun sign on the second that's going to open a lot of favor for you and you're going to be feeling as though you um maybe want to socialize a little bit or people are going to be more magnetized towards you and want to do nice things for you your first message is the, the first message is phases this card says phases so that means that you have to be very aware of the phase that you are in your life right now according to your planets there is going to be so many things happening for you regarding meeting new people, joining new groups, you know, opening some sort of partnership, establishing very good connections with people that can bring better finances into your life. You are really in a phase of growth for this month, for January, 2023. And you know, we've had the Mercury retrograde. The Mercury retrograde will be retrograde until the 18th. It has been in your house of spirituality. It has alerted you to what has been going on around you that has been taking your attention away from yourself. Um, the people around you, you can start noticing people that take your energy, that drain your energy, that confuse you, that brings confusion into your life. You're going to be working towards eliminating the confusion in your life and making sure that you're using your time and your energy wisely for the month of January. Also, let me just say one more thing for uh, to you regarding your phase. This is a phrase, phase of getting out of your comfort zone and allowing new energies, activities, and people in your life. Or if you are one of those people that are shy, you're going to, well, this is a good time to start working on becoming unshy you know, a little bit more opening and embracing to new people and new ideas entering into your life. All right, now the second deck of cards, the second message that I have for you, the second message is the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is a card of warning. It is warning you of people that are not your friends. And because you know, you had the Mercury retrograde in your house of spirituality. You may have noticed that, you know, you got a few people that are not in your corner, that people are not saying nice things about you or meaning you well. You know how you have people around you that smile in your face, but you know that that's, that it's a fake smile or that their intentions for you are no good. So the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands is a warning card to bear, be very aware of people's intentions in your life. Now, we, you have, we have a full moon on the 6th. That full moon on the 6th is going to be influencing your work situation, your employment situation. Full moons always bring information. Something may happen between you and a coworker on your job this month that alerts you that you got to watch your back with this person, that this person is trying to cause problems between you and your employment situation, or you have a coworker that's trying to cause problems between you and other coworkers. They may be jealous. They may feel as though you are a threat on some kind of reason, or they just may be, have some kind of mental illness and have picked, uh, picked you as some sort of target that they want to cause problems for because some people enjoy causing aggravation for other people. Don't forget the saying that misery loves company and you can have a miserable person on your job, work situation, or your business situation that causes you some problems. One more thing is um, the, uh, the suit of swords is also the suit, suit of air. Air is communications. You have to be very careful with your conversations this month. You know, you have the planet Uranus. Uranus, the planet of liberation and change and rebelliousness is in your home situation. Are you living with somebody that you can't hold your tongue with? Are you living with somebody that goes out of their way to make your living situation uncomfortable because they can or because they enjoy it? 
So there's going to be some things that you're going to have to clear up for the month of January. But the one thing that you have to do is watch your back and make sure that people are not plotting on you and, you know, keep yourself covered and protected. Okay. Yes. Because people can be, some people can be really wicked. And for your, your third deck of cards, your third deck of cards, let's see what your message is with your third deck of cards. Your message is, oh, the lovers. Well, that's a wonderful situation. That is wonderful. So something's definitely going to be happening better in your love situation. You deserve it. Now, let me just say, there may have been some static in your love life because you had that Mars. Mars is the planet of war, but it's also the planet of passion. And it's been in your house of love, romance, for the, for the past few months. And it's going to go direct on the 12th. And if you're with somebody that you really like, y'all might straighten things out. Or you may get back with someone if there's been a separation or a misunderstanding. After the 12th, you may get back with someone. I am going to say that if you are separated from someone and trying to get back with them, wait until after that Mercury retrograde on the 18th. Because misunderstandings can still happen, you know, uh, until the 18th, you got to have your mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. You have to be in agreement in order to make things work with a certain person if it's supposed to work and be back in your life, okay? So the lover's card, there can be something wonderful happening or better happening for you and romance this month. And my fourth deck of cards... My fourth deck of cards. Here we go. Fourth deck is the fourth message is the solar plex. The solar plex. Now, this is a creative card. What is it that you want to do? Something has been itching in your spirit. You've been wanting to do something. You know, you've had a lot of energy. You know how you can uh, just sit back and say, I wish I would do this. Or I wish I had a hobby. Oh, I wish I would travel more. Oh, I wish I would, you know, become more active or more involved in certain things. The solar plex is the, the card of manifestation from your creativity. Your creative level is going to be extremely high this month. If you want to go out, you want to start planning trips, start, you know, joining different social uh, groups, start meeting new people. Maybe there's a hobby that you used to have that you want to pick up. Maybe you used to dance or draw or write or do some other knit, you know, there may be so there's some other things that you may want to do. Your solar plex chakra is going to help manifest that for you in the new year. And with that, I want to say. Because of the placement of the planet Mars in your chart, you can make some money from a hobby or something that you've been itching to do, wanting to do. The manifestation of money, new money, brand new money can happen for you this month, but it's uh, due to your own hands and something that comes creatively out of your spirit. Though this can be a great month to make something brand new happen in your life by going ahead and tapping into your own talent to pay attention to your love life. You know, things are going to get better for you. You got to be careful and wait till after the Mars retrograde, after the 12th, so that you can get better understandings and not so much arguing or bickering or misunderstandings can happen if that's been happening in your love life. Watch your back. Your enemies are very active out there. They see your blessings before you do, and they may want to mess things up for you. And to be very aware of time and circumstances. And for you this month, Aquarius, this is the month of planning and growth and to beginning to move forward because you got that sun, you have Venus and you have the new moon all in your sun sign this month. Venus brings favor. The sun brings growth and a new moon brings a new direction. And you are going to have a very interesting year of growth for 2023, the first month in 2023. Have a fabulous month.